What's up East Coast? Today is November 1st, 2019 and I'm here in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park and I'm going to go off for a six day backpacking adventure uh, with my buddy Brian DeLay out of Knoxville, Tennessee. Uh, Brian, this guy pretty much backpacks every week here and uh, special honor, special guest today, we've got Brian's son Nathan. First time getting a hike with him, and it uh, seems like he's going to be a pretty cool guy. And uh, he is also the brains behind our route. He kind of uh, came up with this last night, I think. This whole trip is very spur of the moment. No, it's not a production by my own frontier. That was for amusement only. However, Joy Coconado is joining my son and I on a six day backpacking trip in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. We started at the Grapeyard Ridge Trailhead and we're hiking over to campsite number 32. We've got about four and a half miles this uh, trip was kind of put together on the spur of the moment. We got a really, really late start today, and we probably only got about 30 minutes of daylight left. So I'm not quite sure how many more videos I'll be able to take today. Day two, and we're continuing on Grapeyard Ridge Trail to Greenbrier, where we're gonna get on Old Settlers Trail and hike to 33, where we're gonna to camp tonight. We've got just a little over 10 miles. Thought it'd be a relatively easy day, but uh, we were taking our time this morning talking and uh, kind of getting a late start, so hopefully we can get there before dark. We've got uh, my son's cars parked at Greenbrier and we've got most of our food stored there. So we didn't have to carry it for this first day. I guess that's cheating. We got to camp last night about 7.45. We had to hike about an hour in the dark. The trail was in pretty good shape, so it wasn't that difficult. Uh, wasn't that chilly hiking in last night. And uh, the low this morning was only 32. But uh, number 32, it, number, campsite number 32 is a beautiful little grassy campsite on a ridge with uh, creeks on both sides. The water source was good, but it was a little steep getting down to the water source.
All right, I'm wrapping up day two and I'm almost to campsite number 33. Lots of ups and downs today, numerous rib ridges to go up and down. Not much flat section, but a beautiful trail. It has been a beautiful day today, blue skies, temperatures in the low 50s, and uh, didn't see too many people, uh, mostly day hikers, uh, I think three groups, but uh, not bad for the Smokies. Joy stopped to check out a cemetery, and then my son stopped to eat a snack, and Joy must have stopped to talk with him because I haven't seen either one of them in about 45 minutes. So I'm sure they'll uh, show up at camp pretty soon. A little early for the schnapps, isn't it? <laughs> All right, guys. I'll see y'all later. All right, I'll see you in a bit. We're continuing on the old Settlers Trail to Madron Ball Trail and then up to campsite number 29 where we're going to camp tonight. We've got about uh, 14 miles today with a net elevation gain of about 2,600 feet. There's uh, a few rib ridges to go over. I haven't calculated the aggregate elevation gain, but uh, it's going to be substantially more. Nathan and Joy weren't quite ready, so unusual for me. I was the first one ready, and I went ahead and left, and uh, I'm sure they'll catch me at some point today. It is another beautiful fall day. The low this morning was about 34 degrees, and uh, it's about 45 degrees right now.
That is a massive hemlock tree. We're almost to Albright Grove, which is one of the largest pockets of old growth forest in the park. I don't think I'm gonna have time to go around. It's about four tenths of a mile longer and uh, I'm running out of light. All right, I just passed the uh, Albright Grove Loop Trail. It is uh, five o'clock Eastern Standard Time. It changed today. I've got about uh, 30 minutes before sunset, maybe an hour of light left. I've got 2.8 miles up to campsite 29 and about 1,500 feet of climbing left. I counted on using my watch today, the altimeter, the uh, elevation gains and all the rib ridges. It was about 1,400 feet, so that plus the net is uh, 2,600. So total about uh, 4,000 aggregate feet of elevation gain today. So I stopped to eat lunch today about 2 o'clock and my son caught up with me. Uh, Joy has not caught up yet. I got to the intersection of um, Madrim Ball Trail and Old Settlers Trail and my son decided to wait on Joy. Joy's headlamp is uh, a little bit low and we're probably going to be doing some hiking in the dark tonight. So he's going to wait on Joy and uh, I've got the responsibility of getting to camp first and trying to find some firewood. Finally, we made it to campsite 29. That's last two and a half miles from the junction of Albright Grove was long. It's about eight o'clock. I forgot to mention I ran in, Nathan and Joey caught me not long after the Albright Grove junction. Nathan came ahead to see if he can get some firewood. And I know it's a challenge at this campsite, but it looks like he's got a little. And then uh, Joey stayed with me since his headlamp, headlamp is uh, probably less than one lumen. Does it work? It doesn't work, but we're here. Good morning, Brian. Good morning, Joey. I know we only have six miles to go today, but it's, uh, it's getting pretty close to noon. <laughs> well, not quite. It'll be noon by the time. I'm lying. It's only, like, it's only about 9 a.m. <laughs> this is kind of early. You're up. It is. It is. Did I you? Was, I was tired last night. Did you stay warm? I stayed toasty warm all night. Day four, and we've got about 5.9 miles up to the Tri-Corner Knob Shelter. We uh, initially wanted to stay at Peck's Corner Shelter, but uh, the shelter was full. And after yesterday, I'm kind of glad we've got a short day. It's got about uh, 1,500 feet of net, net elevation gain. I think we've got one or two little small bumps to go over. Last night was the coldest, it was about uh, 28, 29 this morning, still a little bit of snow around camp, which I didn't expect. But it's uh, partly cloudy now and the temperature is about 46.
All right, we're almost to Tri-Corner Knob Shelter where we're going to camp tonight. And day four, even though it was uh, mostly cloudy all day, was really a nice day. The uh, temperatures were in the mid 40s. And we didn't see anyone until we got to the AT. And then we only saw a group of uh, four backpackers and a group of, excuse me, four day hikers and a group of two day hikers. And the elevation gains were not that much, maybe an additional 200 feet or so. So the total elevation gain was maybe 1,800 feet. And I want to correct something I said last night. I said we got to camp, it was 8 o'clock, but my watch was still on daylight savings time. So we actually got to camp last night at 7 o'clock. Well, you want to get some firewood? Yeah, are you going to get some? I think. I'm going to over there. <laughs> all right, Joy, this is just for you. Boil all water. Yeah, you guys didn't point that sign out to me last night. Day number five and we're continuing on the Appalachian Trail to Porter's Gap, which is about a mile or less before you get to the Dry Sluice Gap Trail. And at Porter's Gap, we're gonna take the Porter's Flat Manway down to campsite number 31. I've never done this manway before. I understand the, steep, the first part is very steep. I don't know how overgrown it is. It's about 1.7, 1.8 miles, I believe and we may make about a mile an hour. Last night in the shelter, it didn't get too cold. This morning at seven o'clock, the uh, temperature in the shelter was 41, but we had a big fire last night. It was still warm this morning. So I would say outside the shelter, probably got down to 30, maybe something like that. But today's a beautiful day, mostly sunny, about 43 degrees and I believe it's gonna be a nice one. Well, I guess I should explain what a manway is. A manway is an old trail in the park. It hasn't been maintained in years. It doesn't show up any, on any maps. There's several manways in the park. The Porter's Flat Manway is probably the most well-known and it's used, I guess, Frequently, I don't know how much, but it is used and I should add that it's about ten and a half miles from Tricorner Knob Shelter to Porter's Gap and then the distance You know 1.8 miles or so down to campsite 31. So we have about a 12 mile day today We actually uh, left camp a little early this morning a little before 9 just to make sure we're not doing the manway in the dark.
All right, we've made it to Porter's Gap, and uh, fortunately, there's a little bit of an old trail going down. Joy, I believe this is an old AT shelter. It says we're not far from the AT. It's a 55 gallon barrel with an AT sticker on it, and uh, here's the fireplace and the chimney. Well, the trail ended at the old shelter, so now we're just literally bushwhacking down a stream. We hope that'll take us to uh, Porter's Flat, number 31. We have come down that drainage, mostly in this creek, fighting rodos, and we're getting pretty close to where this creek joins another creek, and hopefully it'll get a lot easier. Day six, and we're still off trail started getting dark on us last night and uh, just before dark I just happened to look at my altimeter and noticed we were at 2700 feet and I thought there's a problem here I looked at the map and campsite number 31 is at 3400 feet I knew it was substantially higher than 27 so either we had missed the camp because we were in the creek the campsite's actually a little above the creek or we're in the wrong drainage so uh, we found a little bitty, small, somewhat flat place in the middle of a rhododendron thicket and spent the night last night. And looking at the map closely this morning, we believe that we're in the false gap prong drainage. All of these drainages feed into Greenbrier where the uh, car is parked. Joey uh, dropped his camera somewhere and is going, he had it this morning, so he's going back a short distance to see if he can find it. And uh, the good news is there's not a cloud in the sky. It's a beautiful day and about 50 degrees. Including the time of Joey looking for his camera, which he did not find, We've been fighting the rotos for about two hours and we're getting ready to get back into the creek. Are you having fun, Joey? Always. Man, we really got lucky. We came to a waterfalls and decided we needed to get out of the creek and get up into the woods to avoid climbing down that waterfalls and uh, Joey found the, a trail Joy, what do you think about finding this uh, trail? Good news, because uh, bushwhacking sucks. And walking in the river is not fun either, so this is the uh, nicest walking we've had in a while. All right, we have made it to Greenbrier, and that was not Porter's Creek Trail we came down. I don't know what trail it is. It's not on the map. Some kind of unofficial trail that was in fantastic condition. We are almost to my son's car. The only thing that uh, concerns me at this point, my son went ahead of us early today. He decided to drop down in the creek before us. So we haven't seen him in about three hours and I am certainly hoping he's up here at his car so Joey, other than you losing your camera, which I really, really feel bad about, how are you feeling now? I feel good. It's beautiful. I feel great. I mean, you just used that, those two words very loosely, made it. <laughs> like that's, yeah, we made it. It was a lot of work that went into uh, making it because that was a make your way, as you just said. Yeah. But that's beautiful. Nathan's in front of us. Yeah, right now my son's in front of us. So, all right, it was a very successful trip in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. It's a lot of, it was a lot of fun. It is not a route that I would recommend anybody do. There's a reason they call it Roto Hell. And uh, I hope you enjoy the video and thanks for watching.